There are five toxic behaviors that I actually recognized when I was online dating before I met my husband. I'm gonna share them with you today, but I also wanna say the people that are actually doing this aren't necessarily bad people. Sometimes they're unconscious, they have no idea that they're exhibiting these type of behaviors. However, when I saw these toxic behaviors, it typically led to a dead end relationship. So I wanna share them with you today so you can completely avoid them and find that emotionally available partner you're looking for. For more tips on how to take charge of your love lives, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And don't forget to like this video. The first toxic behavior I'd like you to stay away from is the love bomber. This is the person that showers you with attention, tells you, you know, you're amazing, you're my soulmate, they haven't even met you yet, and you're building this emotional connection, this bond, like you've never felt before. And of course, they are feeding in the areas maybe you're feeling a little bit insecure. They're giving you so much attention that it feels like you're on cloud nine, you feel high. I definitely have been there before. I know what it feels like, and I gotta tell you, the worst feeling in the world is when they disappear. They start withdrawing, pulling away, and then you find yourself fawning and trying to people please to win that affection back again. It can be a form of manipulation, it can be a form of control. So be aware of this type of behavior and the way to avoid this is to know that you're meeting the representative. No matter what they say, all the compliments they say, until you actually meet them in person and you're seeing their actions and words match for at least 90 days, right? Then you can start trusting them. Time is your friend. Take things slow so that you can find a real connection, not just a love bomber. Another toxic behavior that I want you to pay attention to is the sex talker. This is a person that will slowly engage you, ask you to send sexy photos of yourself, and they'll send some of themselves, and then all of a sudden, they're asking you to send more and more and more, and they're focusing the whole conversation on the intimacy, the sensualness, the sexiness of who you are, but they're not really getting to know you as a person. And they're constantly pushing the boundaries to try to have you have a sexual relationship with them online. They have no interest in meeting you in person. No matter how many times you veer the conversation into something meaningful, something deeper, they bring it right back to the sex. The third type of toxic behavior I'd like for you to avoid is the pen pal. Listen, I know people go online dating to date. However, I would say the majority of people, not all, okay? The majority are on there thinking that they're ready for a relationship, but they're not. So you may encounter a lot of avoidant people. The pen pal will write you and send you messages and text you every day and build an emotional connection with you. But when you ask to meet in person and every time you try to make a date, they change the subject or an excuse comes up and they never show up. So the goal here is for you to date online so that you can actually meet someone and have a relationship. These type of people are just trying to fill an emotional void. And if you wanna find a real relationship, you should be meeting them in person. Another toxic behavior is the taker. This is the type of person that expects you to meet their needs without any reciprocation. That means you're planning the date, you're actually calling them all the time, you're the one that's proactive. Everything feels so one-sided. And you start building resentment because you're like, are you actually into me? And when you plan the dates and you go on the dates, you rarely actually get a thank you or an appreciation. They make you feel like, oh, you're lucky to date me. Relationships are about mutual respect and mutual investment. So if you're getting this one-sidedness, move on to someone that can actually treat you like a priority as well. The final type of behavior I want you to avoid is the breadcrumber. This is a type of person that is giving you just enough attention to keep you hooked so that they can keep you on a string and string you along, okay? The goal here for them is they get the emotional attention, they get their needs met. In those moments that they're lonely and they need a little bit of attention, you'll get a text at 11 o'clock at night and be like, hey, you wanna hang out? 
but they never really make plans. They never follow through or they'll go on your social media and they'll like all of your posts and then they'll say, I miss you. I want to hang out. And then when you actually set an appointment with them and say, Hey, let's go out and let's do something. Then they actually cancel last minute or they change their mind or they just kind of ghost you again. So you're finding yourself going, these are mixed messages. Is something wrong with me? They're telling me they want to hang out. They're telling me they want to invest. But every time I move forward and try to create any type of commitment, they disappear. That is a breadcrumber. Stay away from them. You deserve more than crumbs. So as soon as you see this type of behavior, step back, and just give them space, don't respond, and find a person that can actually communicate with you and follow through with their plans. All right, I wanna hear from you. I know online dating can be frustrating. However, it can be rewarding. I met my husband online, like I said. So ask your questions below, leave a comment below, or come over to my website at amythedatingcoach.com. I have private coaching and group coaching programs that can help support you find lasting love in a more intentional and conscious way. See you in the next video and thank you so much for joining.